Hi, thanks for watching Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I'm going to be talking about how to be courageous. I've got six points here. So like usual, grab your pen and paper, write these down so you can enforce it within yourself and then it reflects on you from others as well because you're emitting it like a pheromone, okay? So how to be courageous. I'm not saying at all to go out and do brave acts like jumping into rivers, cha saving children, etc. That takes a lot of guts, yes? A lot of people can't do it. I personally wouldn't do it because I can't swim. So when we talk about being courageous, it's not being those really spontaneous acts of bravery. It's how to be courageous within ourselves. So six points, they're coming now. Point number one, accept yourself. Look at all your flaws. Look at everything about you that makes you that individual amongst the 7 billion other people on the planet. So get out a pen and paper and write down all your good qualities. So if you've got a quality of being caring or you love animals or you just like being kind, Think about those good qualities, okay? So accept who you are is number one. Number two, how to overcome our fears. Overcoming fears is one of our biggest problems in psychology as a human. So how we attack our fears is firstly, we've got to identify what scares us, what happens if someone says oh let's go and do this today and you get triggered work out why you're scared to do that thing some people get scared when they're in close confines with strangers some people get scared of supreme um, extreme sports some people get fearful just by having to do something that other people appear to be doing as normal so write down those fears first. What makes you scared? And then you attack them because those fears are only limited beliefs where we hold ourselves back because we think that it happens to everybody on the planet. So that's the first way we attack it. If you've got a fear, I'm just surmising here as an example, Let's just say that your fear is being in public. You don't like being around other strangers. You identify within you, what's that fear? Will people judge you? Do you feel embarrassed? Do you not know how to communicate with people in those settings? So write those things down and then you can attack it and say, okay, I'll just surmise here as part of the example. If we don't like going out into public because we don't know how to start a conversation with somebody who we'd never met before, then you say, okay, this fear I've got, does it happen to everybody? No. So why is it affecting me personally? What's happened in my past where I have that boundary where I can't cross over that line to start talking to somebody, okay? So we go into psychology with that. So we overcome our fears. That was point three. Point four is to be honest. Tell yourself honestly all those fears, all those apprehensions, all those issues, why you don't like doing something, why you get scared or it causes anxiety. Okay? So talk about those vulnerabilities that we have. If you've got close friends or close, close supportive family, etc., talk to them about it and say, is this just happening to me or does this happen to everybody on the planet? Because most times when we've got a fear, you'll find that somebody else somewhere around the place has got the same sort of fears that they're also trying to overcome. So it's great to be honest and express that to somebody. If you don't feel comfortable talking to somebody else, write it down. Get out a piece of paper and you write a little story. I don't like doing this because, like I said before, 
I don't like going out into public because I don't like I don't know how to communicate so then you can sit there and work it out and say okay how can I improve that so it may just start by talking to somebody that you do know do you mind use me using you as an example today I'm trying to improve myself and if that person that your friend is that if they're a supportive friend they will want to help you improve yeah if they say oh no what do you want about then you know that's not your right friend because friends are always supportive friends will always be there for us and that's what makes us be a good friend too when we can start being open and honest with our friends as well so it's not always just one way it's yin yang we help and they help us as well so that's number three be honest number four is to think positively okay think about all those good qualities so make a list of them i like being kind i like being nice to animals i like this i like that it may even be the food that you like to eat i like pizza i like eating bananas because they're all things that make us feel good about ourselves when we identify our good personal qualities that make us feel proud within ourselves which gives us that strength which ultimately makes us courageous okay so we think positively because when we think positively that creates that confidence so then we can go out and face that fear that's holding us back from doing whatever it is that we are fearful of doing okay so number five go outside the box think outside that box let's just make one up skydiving okay i have a fear of skydiving i don't want to do it because we answer that because i don't want to do skydiving because it's a dangerous sport well yes that is general so then you think oh well was there a time that i heard a bad experience about it so we think about the pros and the cons and if it is something that we want to do i'm not going to say just go and jump out of a plane okay but go outside of that box let's just say you may have a fear of going to the beach at one time you may have got got stung by something on the sand so you think to yourself does that happen every time you go to the beach no so that's a limited belief do i go to the beach where it won't happen yes so you go outside of that box and you face those dreams by creating it in our head like a dream state so you imagine yourself walking along the beach you come across that little thing that was going to bite us and you walk over it or you protect yourself in other ways so it doesn't get you so we create that in our head we're manifesting okay we're manifesting because what we think we create right so go outside of that box and you imagine in our head like a dream how it happens before it actually occurs because that gives us that confidence then to go and face it and to do it that then makes us feel proud which ultimately makes us courageous yeah so number six the last one be proud of everything that you've done you know it's so easy to sit there and make a list of all our failures everybody has got failures okay and it's only our perspective of that makes it how big or grand that failure was okay so don't concentrate on your failures concentrate on what you're good at write down all the things that you love because ultimately what we love is what we're passionate about and that way when you think oh yeah i like doing that i can do that i can do that doing those repetitiously and creating that new routine of doing those then we can go back through the other steps and go outside of that box and try it a little bit different next time and then we can be honest with our feelings which is on the list and you say wow i went out of that box i tried it a little bit different and now it's working out well 
So that gives us that strength, which is our confidence, which is our, you got it, being courageous and getting outside of our normal routine and facing things and being individual as well as independent, okay? So they're the six steps. Accept yourself. Overcoming your fears. Be honest. Think positively. Go outside that box and be proud of who you are. And the last step is, which isn't on the list, go out there and make it happen. We think, we create. Everything is about our perspective. And with mental health, a lot of people dwell on the past all those past failures, all those past things that didn't go the way we wanted them to. And now we hold on to grudges and issues within ourselves and that's what we now create in our present. So how in our present do we change those past experiences into positive? By being courageous enough to say to yourself, no more. No more will I stand here and blame my past for who I am. No more will I sit here and say, I am like this based on that thing that happened 10 years ago. So we take that strength away from that experience or that event and we say, it happened back then. It's not going to mold who I am today. That is being courageous that is being brave and ultimately that is how we become our true self hope you're all having a great day guys talk to you again soon bye To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.